glycemic control and nutritional support generally in the aki and uh, means uh, there is difference between the nutritional support of, of a aki and a ckd person in the ckd we restrict protein we restrict phosphorus we restrict salt we restrict uh, means uh, carbohydrate also if the patient is diabetic but in the aki the demand because the patient may be recovering the demand is high so the patient has to be supplement lot of calories actually so the calories are more means requirement of the calories more requirement of the protein because this is a catabolic process aki is a catabolic means the patient is there in the catabolism so the requirement of the protein goes up the requirement of the calorie goes up in the critically ill patient uh, the in, basically insulin is suggested to control the sugar again the different type of the, the medicine the oral uh, hypoglycemic agents will not be able to control the sugar again they will be having some erratic kind of the effect means the action may be prolonged prolonged hypoglycemia may be there and some medicines like metformin some medicines like uh, uh, this uh, glyphosate they have got some deleterious effect on the kidneys means because uh, metformin will may cause metabolic acidosis that uh, glyphosate will will be causing means uh, glycosuria causing uti causing maybe fungal uti also and uh, second recommendation is that ki uh 20 to 30 kilo calorie per kg for um, this is generally uh, the high demand of the ak i told you know that the demand of the calorie is more here the rest means uh, in the ckd person in a diabetic in the, even in a diabetic in a diabetes with the ckd the restriction is more but in the ak here we can see that the demand is more and the requirement of the calorie is more they are suggesting the requirement of the protein is around 0.8 to 1.0 Uh, gram per kg per day but in the ckd you will see ki it is just 0.6 gram per kg per day so the restriction of the protein is more as in the ckd and here in the aki generally what is the requirement in, even in non ckd non diabetic in normal person the healthy requirement of the protein is around 1 gram so here is likewise here also the requirement of the protein remains same it is there is no restriction required but Uh, uh when i enter some icu and no nephrology has seen the patient and there we see ki in aki patient the restrictions are already given ki no protein no ye wo but aki patient will not improve if proper nutritional support is not given because he is not a ckd patient he is a aki patient we don't need to offload the kidneys we have to give support to the kidney in the form of nutritional different kind of the nutrition should be given to the patient so that the healing will happen and healing matlab kya ki if the patient is down actually because of anything so head to toe all the tissues all the cells are deprived of water of the nutritional support that we need to supplement the aki next slide please hello dr ritika to change the slide yeah yeah ha use of diuretics in the aki loop diuretics that i wanted to discuss specifically uh, um, uh, if kidney problem kidney problem is there use of diuretics is must is it like that uh, again this is not a bilateral talk so i have to answer my way only ki the requirement of the diuretics will be based on the fluid status of the patient of you assess the fluid status of the patient according to the clinical clinically or with the help of some specific investigation one specific investigations like ivc or like your nt pro bnp or refractory heart failure means the cardiologist is saying ki nahi abhi bhi inka injection fraction acha nahi hai ye wo so the requirement of the diuretics will be defined by the fluid it will not be decided by level of urea it will not be decided by level of creatinine ha the means choice of the diuretics will be differently guided by means the level of sodium and potassium if the potassium is too low diuretics is required you will be able to use that means uh, potassium sparing diuretics per lactone if the potassium is on the higher side will be differently you will be able to use the loop diuretics because with the help of loop diuretics the fluid will go down means the fluid will be going out of the body along with that potassium will be going out of the blood 
the the choice of diuretics may be defined by sodium and potassium but the choice of use of diuretics will not be defined by urea creatinine chloride or sodium potassium we if the fluid is more then only the requirement of, of, of the diuretics is there again those patient those who require di diuretics for the aki they will be at more harm if they are in the dehydrated state the requirement is one of my patient in the icu he was referred to me after 4 5 days of the treatment for uh, sepsis because of lrti and when he was referred to me he was already given diuretic plus uh, once uh, twice a day his bp was well controlled but his sodium was on the lower side his potassium was on the higher side and urea was in the range of uh, 190 when i means, means when i reviewed the patient on the next day the urea came in the range of 246 so this is the ill effect of the diuretics if the hydration is not proper if hydration is there if the patient is over hydrated then only the diuretics should be should be used and sometimes what happens the diuretics is given given for the initial because the kidneys were not functioning j4 was low diuretics diuretics requirement of there there and we have given some treatment for one month to the patient including one diuretic the patient comes after one month and creatinine ab fir se badh gaya hai kyun kyunki the patient after recovering aki matlab increased urine output because of this high urea high creatinine they themselves working as a diuretic एक पेशेंट जिसका किडनी ट्रांसप्लांट जब होता है चार क्रेडिन होता है तो व्हाई इज द किडनी मींस व्हिच आर मींस फ्रॉम आउटसाइड बेसिकली द फॉरेन बॉडी किडनी व्हाई दे आर हाइपर फंक्शनिंग बिकॉज़ द प्रेजेंस ऑफ द यूरिया एंड क्रेटिन इन वेरी एबनॉर्मली हाई लेवल दे आर नॉट मींस अकस्टम विद दैट यूरिया दे आर कमिंग फ्रॉम ए नॉर्मल पर्संस क्रेटिन इन नॉर्मल पर्संस बॉडी एक्चुअली सो नाउ दे आर हाइपर फंक्शनिंग बिकॉज़ व्हेन दे कम हियर इन अ न्यू बॉडी दे सी कि यूरिया इज टू हाई क्रेटिन इज टू हाई they start hyper functioning likewise aki person when the kidneys they start improving the kidney function start improving uh, at that point of time we need to supplement that patient with the nutrition we may need to supplement with some potassium we may need to supplement with salt we may need to supplement with lot of water also because the patient becomes polyuric in the post uh, that aki period he becomes polyuric at that point of time the diuretic different to be stop rather we should be asking the patient ki that is 1 liter 1 liter extra water as compared to your daily urine output so this is the significance of diuretics that use of diuretics may go in both the ways in your matlab beneficial way or in the side effect way next slide please हाँ लो डोज डोपामिन कंसेप्ट हैज गॉन डाउन दैट पहले रीनल डोज डोपामिन देयर इज नो वे ऑफ कोर्स दिस मे बी यू मे बी नोइंग आल्सो देयर इज नो यूज ऑफ फेनलो डोपामिन मतलब रीनल वैसो डायलेटर रीनल वैसो कंस्ट्रिक्टर वाला जो फंडा था एएनपी आल्सो इज नॉट बीइंग सब कुछ ये बंद बंद कर दिया हुआ है नॉर रिटर्निंग यू हैव टू स्टार्ट विद इट्स एट ऑल रिक्वायर्ड नेक्स्ट स्लाइड प्लीज अगेन द रिकमेंडेशन ऑफ द ग्रोथ फैक्टर which was initially used uh, uh, means means this actually use of theophylline basically it, it, even it was it was not used by me also in my nephrology career but our professors used to tell they used to use that uh, low dose dopamine they used to use that di uh, diperidinol they used to use that theophylline in their cases in those patients in those times actually so they have already been banned actually so they are not being recommended next slide how we prevent means how to prevent if at all we have to give some aminoglycoside or contrast agent so basically we have to hydrate the patient and we have to alkalize the urine in such way so generally uh, these uh, means kdgo does not suggest use of aminoglycosides for the infection if there is no suitable or less nephrotoxic agent is available option and with the normal function in the steady state aminoglycosides administered but it should be administered in a single dose like if amikacin is being used it should be once a day because because why this is uh, like that because of the compromised renal function the excretion of the that particular amino glycosides the 
retention will be more and the action will be prolonged so even a single daily dose will be enough for those people so reduction of the dose and reduction of the frequency is required in those cases one thing actually i forgot to tell you about the amino glycosides is the toxicity if the nephrotoxicity of the amino glycosides happens you will be surprised to see the urea and creatinine they are rising but the urine output remains same so if the if you are guiding yourself with the help of urine output ki asking the patient over phone ye pishab acha hai na ha theek hai koi baat nahi continue karo this is not the way because these people they will having rising in the creatinine without having because unka proximal tubule mein there is proximal tubulopathy there is no necrosis there is no just that uh, proximal means uh, tubular cells in the proximal tubule they are uh, fun not functioning properly and because of that the retention in the urea and creatinine that 